Today's Spotlight on Naperville is brought to you in part by... Welcome back to Spotlight on Naperville. I'm Nancy Wearsome, and we're going to turn our attention now to Kids Matter, a very familiar group to the Spotlight set. So welcome back. Ida Lynn Wenhold is Executive Director, and Deborah Newman is Marketing and Communications for Kids Matter. So good to have you. Thank you. And Diane Overgaard is the Project Coordinator for Parents Matter Too, another initiative from Kids Matter. We'll hear more about it in a minute. But Ida Lynn, let's get started by talking a little bit about the mission of Kids Matter. Well, our mission is to build resilient young people who say no to destructive choices and yes to endless possibilities. And our mission is to empower them with tools so that they can practically manage those stressors of everyday life that can lead to chronic anxiety, depression, drug and alcohol use, and thoughts of suicide. So we do annual programs and events that are all focused on building resiliency, on building character, on building self-confidence so that they can avoid those at-risk activities. So you have a lot of really unique elements to your mission. Yes. That's wonderful, wonderful. And a new initiative for you is Parents Matter Too. And I know, Diane, you have been serving as project coordinator, so tell us about that. Well, Parents Matter 2 was started about a year ago when the city of Naperville noticed that 12 kids had died of heroin overdose and said, we have to do something about this. And so they, they all put their heads together and they gave some money and Idolin wrote a grant and Kids Matter was awarded some money to do something about this heroin challenge. And so we met and um, through some conversations with moms who had lost kids to heroin overdose, uh, we found out that um, they said when they suspected their kids were in trouble, when they suspected there was something going on that wasn't right, they did three things. And the first thing they did was Google. When we have questions and we're embarrassed, um, we just do online searches because we can be anonymous um, and we can get some good information. So based on that, Parents Matter 2 has developed a really awesome website and it has um, parents' questions that then are answered in short um, two-minute video snips that are recorded by experts in the community. So we have community therapists, um, we have the chief of police, we have school social workers, um, we have all of the experts in the community who can answer these really tough parents questions right there on the website and so people can just click watch a video and get their question answered if a parent has a question that's not in the archives all they have to do is type it in the question comes to us we don't even know their email address we keep it so anonymous and then we can find an expert who can answer that question and then we shoot a video and put it up and they can all do that in the privacy of their own home, which right. a lot of people for these topics want to have that exactly. privacy. So, well, good for you. And one of the things you're doing to support that is the Ignite the Night. So, Deb, tell us about that. Well, Ignite the Night has in its third year now, yes. um, and it's a concert, and it celebrates everything that we are trying to do as a mission. It talks about helping kids discover those endless possibilities. So we raise up about 115 kids who get on the stage at Wentz and put on an amazing concert of music and dance and theater and celebrate themselves and their accomplishments and really are a good role model for other people. Um, we do a cocktail reception that allows you know community leaders to get together and talk a little about what's going on with, with our program. Um, we have some guest artists who really mentor the kids in beautiful ways um, and really you know, create some dynamism between the kids and, yes. and the message. Um, and in this year, uh, we're also going to be doing an auction that puts parents in the opportunity to um, create some opportunities for kids. So all of the auction items are not things, they are experiences. <gasps> So I they love can, it. you know, spend a day with a surgeon. They can go backstage at a theater company downtown. They can do all manner of interesting things that show them again what kinds of opportunities they may have um, in their future. In those what opportunities. A so it's great really idea. a idea. I love event. it. Yeah. I love it. And it's April 24th at Wentz Concert at Hall. Wentz Concert yes. Hall. Yes. Yep. And I can vouch for it because I I went another year and it's just wonderful. So you do so many things for kids. And another thing coming up, and we really want kids to know about this, 
is the job fair. Yes. So tell us about this year's event. Right. It's coming up in two weeks, March 26th, starts at 5 o'clock, runs through 7.30, and it is at the Res Rec Center on North Central College. We really have two goals for that. One is we do want to provide them with employment opportunities. And we're very excited. We have 44 businesses that will offer over 1,800 job opportunities for our young people. And we have large corporations and small businesses stemming from you know, Lowe's and Home Depot and Subway and uh, Walgreens to Culver's, Panda Express, Panera Bread, AMC Theater, Hollywood Palms, <laughs> recreational activities, park districts. So that's important. But equally important, or even more important to us, is the workforce preparation. And they will have an opportunity to do a mock interview with professionals that will be on hand. We'll also have a resume station. We'll have a social media station and an application station. Because our motto is, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So we want to help them make it the best they can. Wow. And, and that is just amazing when you go to that job fair and see all those kids. I told yes. you once my own daughter got her first job That's right. there. And, and actually, we, I think we always tell kids because so many of the employers do this mm -hmm. that if they want a job, they do need to go there. Absolutely. So, well, you've got so much going on. I'm sorry we're out of time, but we want to send people to the website, of course. Hope people come out for the job fair, the students, and ignite the night and check out the Parents Matter 2 website. Thanks for the great work you're doing. And we're going to take a very short break. When we come back, more Spotlight on Naperville, so stay with us.